Let, let me cut you off and, and ask this question somewhat more embarrassingly and sharply. I've been in any number of talks in bars after academic meetings in which people have said, Lloyd Olin, Al Reese, James Q. Wilson, Norval Morris, they have no successors, either in terms of the longevity of their influence, 20 or 25 years at the top of their field, or the wide, sh widely shared perception that they were broad generalists, not narrow topical specialists. Why, why, why do you think it is true, and I think it is true, that that particular group held great influence for a long time and doesn't seem to have any obvious successors? Well, I think it's because they, in a sense, they were the first on the field. They had their choice of problems to work on because there were so many. You mentioned they were generalists. I think that's true. And it may be today we get more specialists, focusing much more narrowly on particular kinds of problems and making careers out of that. And I think it's important to note that the criminology as a career <coughs> was exemplified in some measure by the, the persons you cited as representing uh, uh, ideas of what could be done. Okay, well, since one of my themes in this, this entire interview has been to embarrass Lloyd, which I've done so many times over so many years, I just want to recapitulate the, the beginning, the, the remarks I made at the beginning, in which I identified four or five subjects in which Lloyd was an active participant, each of which fundamentally changed the way people think about and understand crime as a social phenomenon, carry on research, devise strategies for achieving research. I remember reading an article 20 years ago that he wrote with a man named Frank Remington coming out of the little-known American Bar Foundation survey, which anticipated <clears throat> much of what we learned in the 70s and much of what we think we learned in the 90s about what happens when you try to undertake fundamental changes to how court systems operate. Whole new subject from anything else we've talked about today, court systems. But they got it right then. Uh, we're relearning now what they got right then. In that case, if our memory were better, as it is with opportunity theory, as it is with the Massachusetts training schools, we wouldn't have lost sight for a while. So it seems to me we've, we've uh, if this is a pioneers in uh, not criminology, but pioneers in the evolution of criminology series, I think we're talking to one right here. And we'll wrap it up. <laughs>